This is nitinol, a shape memory alloy that reacts to heat. It can be shaped by heat and then manipulated by temperature. It can be powered by batteries. But how many batteries does it take? I will measure how power affects the performance. To understand how this material works. This test will use a load cell, a load cell transducer, a current sensor, a microcontroller, also a data cable and a voltage sensor. Data will be acquired by the computer and processed in a spreadsheet. Here you can see the tension starts at zero. Then when I attach the spring, it rests at about 60 grams. When I turn on the current, the power in blue will drop. And the tension will increase, shown in red. Eventually, the tension reaches a maximum. This graph shows tension versus power for 9 volts, 7.5 volts, 6 volts, and 4.5 volts. With more power, the tension increases faster and reaches a higher maximum value. Next time, I'll try to characterize different springs and use more power to saturate the samples. Thanks for watching.